The history of blackface is long and carries a lot of pain. It goes as far back as the 1800s. For more than a century, white performers wore dark, tar-like makeup with white or reddish lips to portray black people in minstrel shows. As far as African Americans is concerned, it was insulting because of what the shows did. Well, why don't you get a job and go to work? No, you let me a job this morning. Marja Broussard is the president of the Lafayette chapter of the NAACP. She tells me these performances created stereotypes of African Americans that are still alive today. The goal was to ridicule, demean, insult, uh, stereotype uh, black people. Now, all I want you to do is meet me at the zoo in the morning at 9 o'clock. Yeah, with the rest of the monkeys. With the rest of the monkeys. Yeah, I'll bring my grandpa with me. I personally, if I would see someone dressed in the true black face, tar, black as my jacket, on their face with the big white lips, um, that, that would be hurtful because of what it signifies, what it defines, what it means. Minstrel shows began in the 1830s. White performers used burnt cork and eventually this black grease paint. Come listen, all you gals and boys, I'm just from Tuckahoe. I'm going to sing a little song, my name's Jim Crow. Minstrelsy became one of the most popular forms of entertainment. About 30 years later, African Americans began using blackface on stage themselves. There were black actors that did the blackface, but it was because the Caucasian audience who came to, who flocked to these theaters to see them, wanted the blackface. Broussard calls it racist. She tells me if it wasn't intended to be offensive, then it wouldn't be as dehumanizing. I'll pay you all your work. No, ma'am, I gotta have some money. If blackface was to glorify a people, raise a people, bill a people, I don't think anybody would be offended by it. Which begs the question, what if a white person were to portray an African American in a positive light? by honoring them. This brings us to the Edwards twins. The Caucasian twins are a traveling act. They describe themselves as illusionists, transforming their looks and voices. Hey, everybody! Ray Charles and Tanner. Into various musical artists, including African Americans such as Lionel Richie, Ray Charles, and Stevie Wonder. People refused to believe that I was a white guy. They literally said, that guy is a brother. <laughs> and then the thing is when they found out that who who was, they were amazed. And they were like, I hope you're going to continue because that's what we want, want to see. So that's, that's how, but let me tell you, I was scared to death. I was scared to death. <laughs> 